Hi guys, welcome to the 40th M&M Games trading video. We've got some absolute amazing gems for you this week. Obviously, I think you've already spotted two of them here. So we've got The Legend of Zelda, uh, Oracles of Ages, and uh, for the Game Boy Color. And there's actually Seasons as well. We haven't got that one, but we've got this. It d does come complete, but as you can see, the box is a little bit damaged there. But in minty mint, absolutely phenomenal condition. We've got Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past for the Game Boy Advance, including the Four Swords. So if you can find four of your friends with this game as well, um, have all got Game Boy Advances, and you've got a four-way link cable, you can have loads of fun with Four Swords Adventure. Okay, so two absolutely amazing games there. So um, I expect those to be sold pretty quickly. Okay, next, moving on, we've got a couple... Of Jaguar games. Now these, we've actually have actually priced them up, but they are being sold as you buy a Jaguar, you get your choice of one of these games for free. And I think we've got Theme Park as well somewhere in our cabinets. So up there we've got the uh, Jaguar, and that's the original UK release. Then over there, do you see the one with the little uh, American flag on? Um, that was, I think, the sort of the reprint. We got some stock from America that didn't manage to sell over there. So we got both of those boxed, and then they both are uh, 59.99, and they come in the game of your choice. Okay, so one of these two. Okay, so moving on to some Dreamcast. We've got Spawn, The Demon's Hand, a good Capcom game. Grandia 2, and absolutely, it's one of my favourite RPGs. I don't even play many RPGs of anyone who actually knows me, uh, but I did actually really, really enjoy this one. Okay, next one, uh, Time Stalkers, uh, great Sega game for the Dreamcast. Skies of Arcadia, uh, again Dreamcast RPG. Evolution, the world of sacred device. Device, yeah. The what? I am reading upside down, by the way, guys. I can read. <laughs> there you go, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. And believe it or not, this is actually a beat em up, so some quite hard to find Dreamcast games there, I think. Okay, now this, you have to be a really know what you're talking about to know what this is. So basically, it's $34.99, and the idea is if you've got a PC engine, no, the opposite way around, if you've got a Turbo Graphics, you'll insert this into your Turbo Graphics, and then, or before that, you'll put the PC Engine game into there and then insert this into your uh, Turbo Graphics basically and it lets you play the whole catalogue of PC, PC Engine games. So the whole idea was the Turbo Graphics and the PC Engine are both identical machines but in America and the UK it's a Turbo Graphics, in Japan it's a PC Engine but in Japan they probably had let's say a thousand games come out for it but in America, they let's say they had 200 games come out for it. Come out for it. So if you want a massive, better library of games, um, go for this, and then you can get all of the PC Engine games, and then you don't have to have two separate systems. And I think this is the first time I've ever seen one of these bad boys. So if you if you've got a Turbo Graphics, so I know not a lot of you have, go for this. Anyway, I'm talking too much. Next up, box edition of Mario Golf. Star Wars Rogue, Rogue Squadron, Rayman 2, The Great Escape, Wave Race 64, Real Gem, World Cup 98, yeah. it's a good game actually, uh, WrestleMania 2000, and a nice copy there of a GoldenEye 007. Okay, moving on, for the Super Nintendo we've got Art of Fighting, now in the years we've had the shop here, again, I've not ever seen a copy of this. So, uh, I'll well recommend that. Uh, okay, so we've got some Game Boy Advance gems here. So let's lay them all out. So we've got Mega Man 0, Mega Man 0 2, Mega Man 0 3, and Mega Man 0 4. So if you like the Mega Man games, and especially like the Zero ones, I, th I think these are sort of the more sort of tactical ones more um, sort of strategy based rather than platform. I might be wrong there so you know, feel free to correct me in the uh, end of the video there. And then the um, Metal Gear Solid for the Game Boy Color. Okay, um, finally we've got a real little gem here. 
Now this is actually a prototype of the Dreamcast 2. I know, I know you're going to say, what, a prototype of the Dreamcast 2? How come you have that in uh, MM Games in Croydon? Well, um, if you ever drive past the M4, you'll see the offices for Sega, and one of the employees there actually um, managed to get into sort of one of the sort of secret cupboards and bring this in. So, I'll be honest with you, it comes with one of the sort of rare cartridges, and these cartridges apparently are about 4 gigabytes of data, so almost the same as a uh, DVD. So, um, obviously, quicker load times as well. That's going to be the big selling point about the console. So, if you are into your sort of Dreamcast and you want to get a little bit of history there, and Dreamcast 2, we're probably looking around sort of £500 for this little bad boy. And it uh, comes with controllers, everything you need really to get going. And I've had a quick go on it myself, and you, you know, I'll say it's on par with maybe sort of like the Wii U style graphics. You know, really, really good stuff, and there's few games included on there as well, sort of tech demos, I like to call them. It comes with Shenmue 3 as well, doesn't it? I think Shenmue 3 is one of the, one of the just, just, just oh. I think the first quarter of the games are on, on the cart there. So please like, share, subscribe, and uh, you know, any, any comments about anything you've seen in the video, we'll, we'll appreciate that, and uh, thanks very much.